Welcome to the room tour. These are just some items my identical twin brother and I have picked up over the years. I'll try to do a quick pan, and then I will try to discuss some of the items in more detail. And I'll start with the, with the figures. Here is some Kodobukia HMM Zoids re imaginings. These um, are reimaginings of the original 80s ones, which we really like. Zoids and Transformers, for that matter, always meant a lot to us. Um, as they were that early taste of Japan in the U.S. at a time when anime and things like that weren't nearly as accessible. Um, here is a Memory Stardust scale figure. And now let's do the shelf. The Blade Runner. Here's some Prisoner figures on the 60s show of the Prisoner. Here's some Masters of the Universe Classics figures. I really like how it says Adult Collector in the lower right. Really driving that point home that they are adult collectibles. Here are some mini epics figures, um, Alita Battle Angel film figures on the bottom, and District 9 and Lord of the Rings on top. Here is a fruits basket for the new version from 2019 with a Haro model kit on top. Here is Capcom vs SNK2 figures and some Street Fighter 2 muscle figures on top. These were cool because they were also that um, taste of Japan in the U.S at a time when it wasn't nearly as normalized and they were originally based on the Kinokuman anime and uh, we didn't get the anime but it was still awesome to get such anime inspired characters um, into figures and these are brought up by Super 7. Here's a Steins Gate Figma. Here's a Yu Yu Hakusho Street Clothes. Um, this vampire nendroid um, is interesting because it reminds us of uh, Kid Dracula from the NES game. Castlevania Kid Dracula for Famicom. Here are some Transformers Studio Series figures for that awesome movie from 1986. And these are Masterpiece Transformers by Takara Japan, imported and um, left is Skids here and right is Reboost. Reboost is cool because he's a brand new character um, because um, they never had a Transformer originally for the Red Honda City R. So the original creator of that one came to make this one. And um, yeah, it's uh, based on the original Honda Red C City R, which we never got a Transformer for until now. Here's Fruits Basket. On top is Figure Arts Mini, and the bottom is Figure Arts Zero. The Tiger and Bunny. And here is a Chibi Arts figure there. And on top is a Madoka Figure Arts Mini. Here are some polystone statues for Lord of the Rings by Weta. Some pops in the middle. Here's another one. And here's a hop from Dark Crystal Age of Resistance polystone. Here's a Blade Runner polystone horse. Now here are some Nendoroids. Here's a spot there for one on pre-order. Here's Attack on Titan, Steins Gate, and Mega Man 11. And on top here is a really nice waterproof sticker that we got from a friend in Singapore on her recent trip to Japan. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, Full Metal Panic, Promised Neverland, and that same friend from Singapore sent this nice pencil board. Death Note, and here is a spot for the Invisible Man. No, just kidding. This is one we're currently waiting for from Tokyo Otaku Mode, which is um, from your line April. Black Lagoon, Yu Yu Hakusho, with a die cast Tachikoma on top from Union Creative. That yellow one only shows up in episode 25 of Standalone Complex. Attack on Titan. Here's Kirby and Android. This one is cool because it uses magnets. Spice and Wolf. And the bottom here are some Bon Presto figures. And here are some Papa Parade figures. They're kind of like leveled up prize figures. Or to further use otaku language, it kind of reminds me of being in the middle of culinary and ceremonial matcha tea. On top here is some cute poskets. These remind me of Cupid dolls in a way, and I almost wonder if the QP and cute posket is somehow a reference. Here is Chibi Mini Buddies here from uh, Mega House. Chibi Mega Buddies. And here is a Trigun GameStop exclusive Vash with Donuts. Here are some Funko Pops.
And on the floor here, there's some plushies. There's a Pen Pen plush. Um, that one's technically on the Rebuild Evangelion films, which we don't like as good as the original series. Here's a Squeak Squad plush. Some Pikmin. Cool from Yu Yu Hakusho. And Hatsune Miku. Um, Squishable brand. As is someone who dabbles with music myself, I really like the musician type characters. Here's a Gantz DVD set. And I'll do the table. Here are some Transformers reissues here. And in the back here are some G1 movie ones, which are like the original G1s, but with uh, cartoon accurate col colors, or more than a movie in particular. Here's a spot here for Soundwave, currently on pre-order. Here are some more standard reissues. Transformers were another example of that early taste of Japan for us, so they, we always had a soft spot for them. Here are some Star Wars vintage collection. These are reimaginings of, of the original 80s figures, but with improved paint and sculpting. Here's some Dark Crystal figures. Super 7 did these in the 70s Kenner style also. And here are some Mega Man muscle figures. That rock monster there, he's... That was a tough boss fight in the original Mega Man. There's some more in the back. And here, some Black Series Star Wars on top. And here are some Kotobukiya Transformers Bishoujo figures. And the spot in the middle is for Bumblebee currently on pre-order. But these are cool because they reimagine Transformers characters as humanoid anime females. Here is our posters now. X-Men print. Some official Atari 2600 prints. A Mega Man 2 figure in Leaf Shield outfit. Cowboy Bebop poster. Alita Battle Angel manga print. Full Metal Panic keychain. And an original Fruits Basket keychain. And Hari Suzumiya Wall Scroll. Ghost in the Shell manga print. And a Stein's Gate print. And a Super Mario Brothers 3 print. And then here on this wall is some Castlevania Diamond Select figures. There's Black Box for the scary boss fight in Castlevania 1. I still get shivers from that one. And a Symphony of the Night Magnet set. A couple of Castlevania pops down here on the Netflix series also. So now I will do the anime collection. I'll go slow so you can see some of these. It's a little dark though. Apologies on that. And a, a Nano Block Mega Man character there, Cut Man, and a Nano Block Guile. Here is just basic sci fi and uh, British comedy. With some aliens muscles there. Here's just some regular novels and graphic novel collections. And here is my manga collection. Uh, voice. I got some digital ones too, like Attack on Titan and Before the Fall and things like that. I also have the Promise Neverland box set. And on the table is some books. Well, here is my brother's um, published novels, if anyone wants to check those out. And here are some anime soundtracks. The video game soundtrack there. And that pretty much wraps it up. Thank you so very much for tuning in.